Good afternoon. Thanks for coming. Um, what's this talk about? It's about all and nothing. I, I would say from the description on, on the on the Grazer Linux target page, let's quickly browse what's what's in there. This is the description that you that you uh, come to when you when you click on the on the on the calendar entry. Uh, the de description says it's about it's about blinking with async IO with Python, with libgpiod and the Raspberry Pi, which which is which is cool. Um, and but basically, it's it, it's about what, what what's it about? Let, let me let me show you that. Let me show you that. What's that about? It, it's about doing things that have no immediate outcome. Blinking patterns on a set of LEDs that you can con can configure. Um, let me quickly show you what this is. Blinking. It's about that, for example, among others, and it's about the program. It, Programmability. When you when you when you see this program, this is a description of that pattern. Maybe maybe you will be able to to figure out what that does. All blink cycle. This, this is what what this pattern pattern just did. It's you see cycling and blinking and so on. This is a description of that. Um, the talk. I have, no, I, have no, I have no real slides because this is not a slide talk. I, I like to like to like to hack. Uh, there, there is a life hacking screenplay. This is mainly, mainly this, uh, a deck of papers that I, that I, that I try not to di diverge much from. It's, it reads, it reads like, like what I'm doing. But let's not, let's not talk too much. Let's just do. Let's just do. Um, let's start. It's, it's about async I/O. What's, what's async I/O? What's, what's, what's blinking? What's multi-threading? Who's, who's in multi-threading? Who knows what multi-threading is? Most of you will. Most of you will. When you when you look at, at this this program, in, which is written in Python, it starts three threads, three operating system managed threads. Hello, left, right, and middle. The left thread does ten ten rounds of blinking. Hello, left. Uh, the, this one with a with a with a with a sleep interval of half a second, zero point four, zero point three. And what this what this looks like is it does not blink actually. This this will come in later. It, it does asynchronous operations on standard output for for this. So when you when you look look at this more more closely using the S trace debugging tool, you will see that while blinking, you see. On the left, uh, each 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 line has has a header which which reflects the process ID of the thread that is being scheduled. Which means that the operating system has to take care of the time slicing and the the bouncing back and forth on the CPUs uh, of three threads. Actually, there are four threads in Python because of the gill or whatever whatever reasons. The main thread jumps in occasionally, so it, it's actually four threads that need to need to be need to be managed. The Raspberry, which I use for this, has four process processors of one gigahertz each so this is not not much of a stress for this particular kind of hardware but you can imagine if if you have only one processor and and uh, tens or hundreds of threads for just just because of blinking pedals this this will introduce a severe amount of jitter so to say and async io let me introduce that by importing async io the async io let me let me uh, async. You have to write async before each routine. This is this is the boilerplate stuff. When you what did you did you need to do when you want to to do asynchronous uh, programming? This time dot sleep is a blocking operation. You, you request the operating system to block the thread, schedule another thread if you have only one CPU and so and so on. Uh, let's um, exchange that by a similar thing. So, uh, no, sorry for that. Uh, query and, re and replace. Async IO, async IO dot. So, let's exchange these three. This, this is the transformation to, to make, it, make a thread start routine, a async routine, which is then scheduled by the, by the async IO subsystem of, of Python. Uh, you have to declare async. A routine to be an async, a coroutine, so to say. 
uh, a coroutine function. This is not an election. Oh, this this will come later. And you have to await. You have to await for for otherwise blocking operations. This this is not a blocking operation, but but rather this does something. It's not magical, but it's rather hidden in 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 async async IO. What what happens behind? Let me let me quickly transform this. Uh, you have to design. I have to define a another. Uh, usually, you say async dev main, where you do some some operations like creating async tasks. Async io dot create task. That's it. And you you call the the, the coroutine functions to actually instantiate coroutines, whatever that means. So this is this this is for starting. And the joining, the waiting, the synchronizing with the with the termination of one thread goes a little different. You you say await, you await then with the await keyword, which is built into Python since I, I don't know which version. And last last of the transformation will be async io dot run, where you start the main coroutine, which then creates tasks for the other tasks for the other coroutine. So that that should that should it be. What we what do we have? We have three coroutines like that, async routines like that. You create tasks for each of them and let them run. The output is just the same as, as with the threads because because um, because because this is magic. Uh, what's what's so magic? It's it's not 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 necessarily magic. When you look look at the operating system actions. Which 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 happen uh, is you see lots of epoll epoll wait. This is event dispatching, e event multiplexing in one one single thread, because we have three timers. This can can be done much more intelligently than starting three threads which block synchronously in in a loop for this. This is this is stupid. And async IO does event multiplexing. When you look at the timeouts that are supplied to the <coughs> sorry. Uh, to the epoll weight, this is 295. This is not actually a timeout that I supplied, but because this is the, the rest time that one of these these these, these coroutines uh, needs needs to sleep in order to to, to sleep half a second, for ex for example. That's it. This is that's it. that's event multiplexing. This is basically basically this is what AsyncIO does. It's much used for network programming for. Whatever for for everything that that usually requires par a parallel set of operations. Actually, this is not parallel in in, in a multi-threading world, but rather it's a little bit more intelligent. It looks like like synchronous, but it isn't. It is asynchronous. Okay, next the next the LEDs that I just showed you uh, the blink. How is this done? Uh, there are, there are a number number of, of ways on Linux to. To, to to use general purpose IOs to, to switch power on it, on it off. Uh, one 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 of these is the sysfs GPIO, where you say you walk into a directory, export an IO, and write write a bunch of files to 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 configure the direction and and to write the the, the value to to set the value to on and to to off. Uh, who knows sysfs GPIO? Okay. Um, I, I, let me let me let me quickly. Um, Show you what that is. This is not the basis of, of this talk. This, this is another way of, of uh, managing GPIOs. This is the way to go. It uses not sysfs class, uh, sys class GPIO, the directory where, they, where these, these management files are in there, but rather it uses a, let me show you that, dev GPIO chip zero. It's a character, it's a character device which is which implements a, a whole bunch of I/O control requests, which implement the interface, the user space interface for for GPIO, and this is the way to go forward on on Linux because the CFS GPIO is rather deprecated. It has a number, a whole number of of shortcomings. We, uh, uh, for example, you, uh, you, it is lacking pull up and pull down configurations. Uh, when you when you when you receive interrupts in user space via, via this interface, you are lacking the timestamps, which are absolutely absolutely necessary in the, in the number of number of scenarios. You're lacking that, and and uh, GP, libgpiot and uh, the GPIO device interface supports all of these hardware debouncing if if processes uh, if if chipsets in uh, uh, do it. it. It's all included there. It's full featured, and and what what this does. 
is you, you say you say basically request request a bunch of lines, uh, configure by configuring uh, IOs for for output, which is what I do here. Then setting values you, you set values. This is the, the the Python binding of the of the low level C library. Uh, you set values by supplying a dictionary of of which which does what. So let me. Yeah, that's it. Spectacular. Um, let's quickly insert a snippet the matrix. What what this is this this is the matrix that you that you see here with with the GPO numbers written there, which is which is what I will be using for the remainder of the talk. Um, you say all GPIO, all IOs, all IOs. This is cool. Python is rather cool. Uh, all IOs. I configure all of these this this matrix, and then I then I do something. Let's replace this by a, a dictionary comprehension for I in all IO, IOs. Yeah, so let's set all of these to on, and then quickly thereafter, after a second, all of these to off. And then let's see. Let's blink a bit more. Okay. Cool. Is it? Uh, what's what's next? Next. I need to hurry up a bit. Um, entire matrix. Oh yeah. Bringing all together. What does this have to do with this blinking pattern? Blinking with this async I/O. Let me shove that over to blink.py. Insert the entire code here, right in the middle. And insert an, another another bunch of snippets. What's what's that one? Put in a function. Snippets set values. I define a, a function based based upon this request that I that I just just showed you how how this goes. Request. I define a function set values that I will use. Uh, request set, so set values for for a bunch of IOs. This is a, a set a, an iterable of of IO numbers. Which are set to a value zero one is supposed to come in here, and next will be. Let's define a function. Yeah, no, not that one. Uh, snippets blink raw. That's that's how it's called. Let me quickly put this iter tools import at the top of the file. This is not about about clean coding. What I, what I do. This is not clean code. Uh, what this does, this is an async blink routine, which uses this await that I just showed you on the interval, and the set values function to, to switch LEDs on and off. And with this, let me transform these. I will not write hello middle, hello, 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 and so on on, on standard out, but rather I will take care to, to blink to blink LEDs. Tasks. I define an entire list of of async IO tasks. This is this is what I what I what I'm gonna do now. An entire list, not this one, but no. Let me define the template and then copy and paste as we go. Tuple, a timeout, closing brace, comma, One, three, four. Yeah, and then that's 14 tasks await oh, the task. And then let me just write that off and not talk too much. 27, this is a uh, 4 and 2. And this is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, what this does is, is spawn spawn off not threads but rather async IO tasks using this blink routine, a call routine which has in, has been instantiated from a call to this blink routine. This is actually the wording behind it, the definition behind it, uh, which then hopefully blinks. Does it do something? Oh, GPIOD is not defined. Sure. Then let's let's import GPIOD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, this is the, the, the console, the X console, rather more sexy. Um, what's next? Uh, let's, let's, you know, you know, let's modularize a bit. So we have, we have a set of requesting the uh, set values function, the blink function, and so on. But this is not what we will want to see all the time on the screen. Let's, uh, let's start it away in a, in, in a module that we then implement, uh, Im import. Let's say from stuff import star. This is not about clean coding, as I said. Uh, still, I, still, I have to uh, import async async io. That's it. Let's quickly check if it still works. Yeah, it works. Okay. So, what's next? What's next? Next. Oh, yeah, let's play around. Play around. Still uh, works. Blinks 11, 10, 27, 4, and 2. Let's say. Let's blink entire rows. I define a variable rows, which is which is this matrix that I just showed you, which contains a bunch of numbers, rows. And let's say let's not blink singular IOs, but rather entire rows. So row zero, one, two, three, four. This is this is the matrix. Let me show you the matrix. This is the matrix. A, a, a tuple of tuples. Blink. Yeah, rows. Next. This is cool. I, I like I like pulling in heavy dependencies for for nothing for nothing. Let's let's use the NumPy transpose <laughs> matrix and convert that back to a list because I don't want a NumPy array to. To go into into async IO and GPIOs, and let's blink the columns instead. Yeah. Okay. Let's stick to that. Then what's next? What's next? Yeah, co coroutines. Coroutines. Question is, what will happen? Let me quickly uh, copy that one line. I will need that after comment it out. Um, what what's this create task? What what if I omit it? What if I not create a task and see what happens if I if I don't if I don't if I just call it blink instantiate a coroutine a set of five coroutines and wait for each wait for each in turn. So what's happening then? It blinks, but it does not advance. It's because because it. It gets stuck here. This is, this is no parallel execution. This is what we what we what we create tasks for in in order to <coughs> to have these blinking processes tasks to run in parallel. If if I don't uh, and I wait for each of these tasks, which are not actually tasks anymore, these coroutines in turn, not calls but rather coroutines in turn. These are coroutines, and awaiting a coroutine actually drives that coroutine, brings this to an end, and then 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 comes the next. This is what uh, why we created tasks for. So uh, let me quickly show you the, the the definition of this blink routine. It it has actually a, a third parameter which I didn't use, the end times uh, parameter, uh, which actually is used then to to drive two times and then advance to the next and see what happens. Blink two times, next, 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 and so on. Okay. Boring, yeah. Anyway. Sequential ex execution. So, okay. But, yeah, let's, let's, let's define an async dev sequence, a function for that. Goal, goal of this, this is to, to show you this programmability that I, that I that I showed you, uh, those blinking patterns, await, see. This is what the sequence function does. And let's say we are awaiting, because because this, this, this sequence function that I just defined is an async function which I have to await to, to, to do something with it. Await the sequence, call the sequence function with these coroutines as input, which then awaits each in turn. 
this should be much the same. Yeah, let's not let's not bring that to an end. Um, and in order to to write every so the, the entire program in one statement, let's let's do that. Yeah, does the same, a sequence. Anyway, then how about how about how about defining another async def all? Let's call it the all function, which again takes a bunch of coroutines as input, uh, and then then it is supposed to to to. To to wrap wrap this coroutine into a task and start all tasks in parallel and then await await all of these. So let me create these tasks in Python. In Python, you can write everything in one line. Uh, what we get is a is a coroutine for at least comprehension for C in coroutines. That's it, and then await. For t in tasks, await each task in turn. And then let's say or instead of sequence and see what happens. Done. Two times. Each column blinked two times in its in its own frequency. Omitting these frequencies, uh, these this n times parameter will make it blink eternally for no reason. For no, for no real outcome. Uh, this is. Yeah. Um, what I have to say is um, one, 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 one major feature of this this GPIO device feature is is that uh, a process. Whenever a process opens, this def GPIO chip zero file character device. Then this, this is an open file to the process. If the process crashes or terminates for for another reason, or crashes, terminates, uh, then then this this file descriptor gets closed, gets gets garbage collected, uh, so so to say, by the operating system. And it, it is supposed to make a reset to the entire configuration that I did. I somehow lost this feature during the the, 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 the recent Raspberry Pi upgrade that I did. Which appears to be a driver, a kernel driver bug for for this for this thing. So so what I what I have to do is to switch it off manually. They will fix it, I suppose. Uh, if I report it, for example, I'm, I'm thinking of that. But um, I I was lacking time because because of the talk preparation and so on. Uh, uh, maybe they know. Uh, I'm sure they know. Um, but again, uh, anyway. So so this is this is so when I when I, when I say let me. Yeah, reinstate instantial blinking twice, 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 and then it's off. And now, now when I say when I say, yeah, sequence, this sequence blink, blink, blink will will uh, make this linear. So let's say create a loop around the coroutine to say while true. Let's await it multiple times. An inf infinite number of times and see what happens. I loop this sequence through until the end of all days. Could have been faster. No, what? Ah, no, 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 uh, forever. Let's run this sequence forever. Sorry for that. Let's say the program is, is equal to forever. Await program that the forever. Await await that. Gosh. Ah, Coro. I need to await this this coroutine and not not. Yeah, that's it. So let's wait another time. And then see, it it crashed. 
cannot cannot reuse already a weighted coroutine. So uh, such a coroutine, once once instantiated, uh, once it's over, it cannot be awaited again. It cannot be restarted again. And this is where where I need to do something more. Elaborate. Time is running running off. Uh, let's 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 bring bring these into stuff. Let's bring Plink again back in and say do something about this. What what needs to be done done here is to 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 strip this down. For one, strip this down to to one program that that only uses a loop around one one blinking. For, for sim simplicity, that's what it does. And crashes cannot reuse already awaited coroutine. So what's next? What's next? So what what's uh, what 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 needs to be done? What needs to be done here is to not pass a coroutine, but rather a coroutine creators in in some way, and. Let's say and, and, and then say create a coroutine, create another a fresh coroutine for for another await loop, for that, and for this, uh, I first define a class blink, which actually does nothing but remember the parameters, interval and times. It's the same signature as the initial blink function, but rather. Uh, rather remember the parameters, store the parameters for later use. Not do anything, but rather remember, store the parameters as, as members interval equal to interval self dot n times is equal to n times. Whatever the user wants, we, we do nothing but just remember. And in order to, to do what the forever function wants from us, create coro, uh, this, this class needs to implement a create coro method, which then actually, let's, let's only define a, a nested function. For simplicity, this could be done more performant and, and more intelligently, but let's do this for the time being. And then instantiate, uh, return the blink function with what, you, what we remembered, self interval and self dot n times instantiate the coroutine this is what what the what the forever function wants from me and what's happening here the blink function is a constructor you know that one constructor which is actually used here which creates only a, 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 a an object which instantiates me a a, coro a fresh coroutine once we enter another loop in the in the in the forever function Let's see if that works. Okay, blink. Two, three. Next loop entered and so on. That's it. That's the factory pattern, if you want. And but let's let's say no, we don't. Go the goal. The goal of this this entire thing is so we have we have this blink function, this blink which actually does something. We have this forever function with this, this sequence, and we have the all and, and stuff. The, all all these and. In order to make all these reinstantiable, if you want, if I want to loop around the sequence, for example, I would have to reinstantiate the coroutine for the sequence thing. In order, in order to to accomplish all that, the programmer, the user of that one, would have to create all this boilerplate factory thing around each around each of these. So let's let's say no, we don't want to do this. Reinstantiate the. The old async dev, remove this entire thing and do something completely different. Let's say we want we want this. We want to write blink, we want to write patterns as as we as we as we async, async and await. And let's then say what what we want is create what does it? Let's not diverge. Yeah. Create coro creator for blink for blink with wrapping wrapping a function around the original blink function exchanging the blink function with something different uh, no 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 what could that be it's about it's about decorators and closures now we are entering decorators uh, 
enclosures right now. So let's say blink function. Wrapping a function into something that does something different. So what 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 does he do? Um, I always interval. So if I if I if I wrap this function into something, let sorry. Here needs to to. A miracle needs to needs to happen here, yeah? and return that function again. Re return the, this coro creator, and store it. What what what's happening in in exchanging the blink function uh, with with this coro creator for, for blink? I define another function which I then return and store into blink. Basically, exchanging the blink function with a with a with a closure. Did, oh. <laughs> this is this is um, inverting one's brain and and. What what does where, where where does where does this go? Where does this go? This this function blink. Blink is called. Blink is called down below here. Blink is called. Blink. Blink is now this this coro creator which has been stored in Blink, and it takes the, it takes these parameters. Three parameters. These are there, and this blink now blink function is then called in forever. Let's omit this call, create coro. And then what, what, does, what does this do? It defines another function, namely create this core routine with an empty parameter set because, because the, the, the factory, uh, the forever function just says from whatever that program is, instantiate me a core routine from it. Empty parameters. This is all this, this forever uh, function wants to, wants to do. And now this create core function can then return the actual, the actual blink function over three steps, over three, three indirections, yeah, supplying it what it remembered. Just, just as we had with the class where everything had to be done explicitly, this is done implicitly, because Python and a bunch of other, of other, of other program, programming languages knows what closures are, because this blink function in the in the hundred levels deep inside function knows. The parameter of the of the the outer function, which has long passed, this function is over, and in the closure Python in the closure of the function Python remembered what that was. Same with the next inner level, these these three parameters have been remembered in an object, which is a closure, uh, which which are then used by the innermost create core function, return blink func. That's what it is. And if all goes well, it has to because uh, I tried it a hundred times. And okay. Yeah. I have to return this create coro. This also happened a hundred of times. Um, so this dev core creator actually needs to return something, which is the, the innermost function, which is what it, what that is all about. So let's say twice. Blinks, drives a loop. That's it. That's it, basically. And continuing this further, um, let's say this is not only for blink, because we want to apply it to a sequence, to all, to, to a bunch of others. Uh, let's say let's let's say this this is what I defined in this particular scenario as a program. Let's say this is a program which can be used to decorate any any function. Uh, so th this parameter set is very specific to the blink function. The sequence has another, and the Python mechanism for for, for this one is to to say, uh, let's let's say, pass everything that the user passes on to into the closure, 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 uh, and finally, when it comes to it, use it. These are the the, the, the positional arguments. Arcs is the, the the one star is the positional the the, the set of positional arguments. The the keyword arcs, the double star is the is the uh, keyword arguments that you might might have been supplying supplying to 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 one such function. Okay, this is a program which does all that hundred levels deep coding stuff. Uh, and what I then want, what I then want, let me bring this over here. 
And what, what I then want is to exchange the blink function with some, something, to wrap the blink function uh, with something that does completely different things, and then uses the blink function internally at some other time, is basically what a decorator is. You read add program, which is a syntactic sugar for this. I can omit that. This is beauty. This is, this is, it, it's much about Python. It's not about blinking and, and so on. This is Python. Closures, decorators, doing, doing things simply. Okay, so, so this, this, this should work now. Yeah. Okay. Blinks. Off. Let's quickly transform that into a program and say loop around this program. Let's, let's just rename parameters in order to make this readable. Then I can say, hmm, let's omit the main function altogether. Program is forever, blink and then not await the main function, but rather run the program. No, not off, but rather blink. That's it. That's it. This is, this is simple, is it? So what else? What's next? Oh, yeah. Clean up. Put this into the stuff library. Nope. Use the program decorator for, for all the others and see what we can do with this. Let's say programs, all reps tasks around programs, p invoking them for p in programs and awaits the tasks. Same here, programs, without decorating it. I mean, debugging, debugging with async I.O. and the, too, man, too many decorators and closures, forget it. No, not, no, no, no. Um, be correct from the beginning. So, sequence, debugging. It's getting better with, with async I.O. They have, have a long, 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 long series of revisions of the, the, the error messages that, that occur when you do something wrong, appears, appears to work, yeah, appears to work. So let's test if blink still works. Uh, let's see, let's see. Forever blink, forever sequence, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's use this sequence once again by blinking, no, by blinking again. Nothing I should have commented out. Zero point five four three two one countdown forever. I have to skip much of the talk because the time is running out, but you know what I, you know what I mean. There, there's much more to this. Uh, now I'm starting one program forever. I'm reinstantiating the sequence. Let's blink that down, and then say, yeah. loop foreground. So <coughs> another thing, another thing, another fun thing is. The cycle program, the cycle, cycle. Let's say all, let's not, not blink around it, but rather cycle the columns. It looks better if the, the intervals are, are smaller. Let's, let's make these smaller. So cycle the first column, the second column, and so on with, with this interval and see how that goes.
nice pattern, is it? Okay. So I got to skip something. Yeah. Fun. No, no, no for no for fun. This is much more much more to say to it. Let me quickly remove everything of this and 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 replace it with a with a fixed version with a, with, a, with a more complete stuff complete i mean so the stuff complete this what what's 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 there is yeah outer square let, let me show you that the outer square cycle outer square yeah let me let me cycle that outer square and then cycle the inner square with another interval, maybe that one, and that one in a in a in a in a reversed, reversed. Wait, the outer square, the outer square, and the inner square. You will see that. That's yeah. Wrong position. It's just a list of IOs which I which I reverse as we go. So God. That's it. Impressive, is it? <laughs> um, and the most the most funny thing, but I need I need to close now. The most funny thing is let me let me show you. Um, I want to give you an idea of the fun that I had when I when I I did not invent this. I just discovered discovered what is what is possible with Python and with AsyncIO and doing funny things like decorators and closures and so on. Is uh, this any this anything any anything any? Where is the any? Any any any? Uh, you see all. What this what this all function does? It 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 is to synchronize with every coroutine that it starts in the background, and wait until all of these are finished. You can use this for 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 to to to, to implement some some kind of logic in a in a functional way that that looks like like functional programming in in, in a way. And this any is much the much the opposite of it, much the opposite of it. It starts a number of number of coroutines in the background and waits until one at least one of these has completed and then cancels all the all the others which is which is really really interesting if you think more about it uh, let me quickly insert another snippet snippets uh, the, the, the the program any demo which basically does nothing it brings all all I always brings the, the matrix in a 0 0.2 uh, second in interval and, and stops after three sec seconds are over. This is what this does. Any. Wait for... This, this, will, this will blink uh, until infinity. This one stops first and cancels all the others. Which is logically, logically really, really interesting. See? Just blinking. Just blinking un until, until eternity is stopping after three seconds. Brought together by, by an enclosing routine named, named any. And next, next, what you can do is any on demo. What's this on thing? This on thing is another interesting thing in this. It holds values up to eternity. Yeah, it it sets values to one, and then it waits by creating a future. This is another async thing. Creating a future and waits until the future, which will never never be there. Which wait waits for something that will never, never uh, eternity, yeah, infinity, and when it gets cancelled, it resets the IOs. This is what what's done here. Impressive. And when this comes together, uh, let me insert another proc. Goodbye. No, no. Well, well, shit, 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 shit. Smiley. Yeah. yeah here it is. Uh, another program, which is rather more involved. Good mouth, bad mouth. Smiley. This is a smiley that I will will instant. Nothing new. Nothing new. A couple of any's uh, on good mouth for five. Bad, bad for for five zero point five, 
and then on 10, and four, these are the eyes of the smiley, and so on. And what, what this looks like, got to save it, yeah, I did, is to blink. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for listening. Uh, sorry, sorry for exhausting 45 minutes in a row and not, not leaving any time for any questions. We, we, can, we can talk after the after I've, I've built down the entire stuff. Thank you. <laughs>